My first guest tonight is a big movie star. She's a lovely actress. She's in a new film, The Poker House, which is actually, it's not a porn. And it's in a... <laughs> is it porny? Oh. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's in theaters. <laughs> People work together for years, raising the money for the movie, making their movie, working really hard on it, just trying to get it right, working, 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 and then some douchebag on TV goes, it's not porn. <laughs> I'm so sorry, filmmakers. It's called The Poker House. It's in theaters on Friday. Please welcome the lovely Selma Blair, everybody. Selma Blair. Sorry. I'm I mean, sorry I about saying that about I porn. Wish. <laughs> oh, no, you don't want to be in porn. No, no, no. No, I, mean, no, they, I don't no, really wish, but, no. yeah, I don't think I'm the type. No, you're not. You're, you're, you're far too... <laughs> I'm far too flat-chested. No! <laughs> no, it's not so much that you look so clean. And, no, I am. Yeah, you're clean and lovely and, and wholesome. Well... Are you not? Thirty-seven years old. How wholesome could I be? You're thirty. My goodness, you must moisturize <laughs> I mean, daily. That's all I can say. I, I am wholesome, mer than I was once in my life, and we won't, don't need to get into that because people will be cross. <laughs> Somebody may, might be cross if we don't get into that. <laughs> All right, well, listen, can I ask you, just as a, as a by the way, have you ever read any of the works of uh, Flaubert? Because uh, no one, no one here has, including me, and I'm embarrassed. No, because... I'm embarrassed. I, I think of myself as a really well-read person, and no, I have read no Flaubert. I have Madame Bovary sitting on my shelf. Well, you've got to have it in case anyone comes round. But, I mean, uh, <laughs> but I haven't read it either, and I feel like I should. I've read a lot of, of brainy stuff, but not that. We can start a book club. Let's... <laughs> Nice. That would be nice, and we would have dead French authors dying to be on it. Ooh, can Baudelaire be far away? I ask myself. I have Camus in my bag. Algerian. <laughs> oh, truly? Yeah, not French. Algerian. Why did a French teacher give me all these Camus books? Well, he must have. Well, he wrote in French, right. and he was uh, uh, Algeria was a French colony, and I think uh, I, I'm so boring. Can we talk I'm sorry. About <laughs> Yeah. It's true. That's what my mom says when I call her. She'll say, I'm in the middle of speaking. She goes, oh, Salma, you're boring me. And then there's the dial tone. She doesn't even say really? <laughs> It's kind of a good way to be, though. You don't have to... I think it's very refreshing. Yeah. I, I'm with the wow. I'm going to do that with more people on the show, but you did it to me first. <laughs> I'm going to use it as my new technique, though. Technique like, when people are talking about their movies, I'm like, oh, God, this is so good. Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, blah, time. blah, we all played pranks on each other, everyone, oh. I know, it's high time someone did. Well, uh, the thing up. is, though, people stop being your guest if, you, if you're rude to them. <laughs> I find. Your mother is okay. Your mother can be rude to you because it's not like you go, I'm getting another mother, mother. You know, that, you, can't, you can't do that. I wouldn't mind if you did it to me. <laughs> all right, well, tell, tell me about your movie then. And if it's, but I warn you, if it's not interesting, Daddy's taking a nap. Let's go. <laughs> Laurie Petty directed it. Laurie Petty, okay. That's you, interesting. That is interesting. Tank Girl and it's Laurie <clears throat> yeah. Petty, and it's her. Uh, it's the story of her life, and I play a very drug-addled, mm, you know, mother. Her, I play her mother. You I mean, play, she's not playing herself in the film. Right, she's okay. older than I am. Yeah, well, I, she might not be actually. Okay, I'm nodding off. I know All right, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm nodding off too. No, no, no. no. I shouldn't go on these. No, no, I you should. should. No, you're doing great. No. Uh, <laughs> So, no, no, you are, really. Now, in the, in the movie, do, uh, do, <clears throat> does anyone go nuts and shoot up the joint? <laughs> oh, I didn't read the script. I just read Did the no, book you were in? I'm yeah. Kidding, I'm kidding. No, I, I, wish, I wish someone would. I brandish a knife in, in the You end. brandish? Do I you brand... stab? But it is, no, it's a rubber knife. It's a rubber knife. I you brandish a rubber it, knife. But it's not supposed to be rubber. <laughs> So I'm just making a note to see the movie. I, uh... Oh, it's... by the way, do you, do you have a favorite puppet? A puppet? Yeah, yeah, do you, a puppet. It's a sort of... Uh, it's a... a thing with your hands. Yeah. Why is Betty White on a puppet list? I have no idea. 
because... Silly. I, well, I, there's some very odd things. Well, I am fond of Mahmoud Amandan in jacket. Yeah, yeah. So did you vote no. for him in the Iranian elections? Because many other people didn't. No. No, I didn't. I didn't know that... I mean, how cuddly is a tennis ball on a stick puppet? Let me answer... <laughs> Let me answer that question for you. How cuddly do you like? <laughs> it's not so much a puppet, it's more of a wand. I see. I mean, they use these you can things... Have that. <laughs> oh, look at what an ass I look like in this yellow dress. No, no, ball. you look great. <laughs> You look great. I look like Glinda, don't I? No, you look, it's fantastic. Yes, you do look a bit like Glinda. <laughs> I do like a rattlesnake mug. I have a cockroach one at home. A cockroach mug? <laughs> no, that's vile. No, I'm kidding. That's so weird. Do I know think... Mary McCormick gave it to you. Mary did give this to me. Do you know Mary? Uh, yeah. She... Yeah, I like her. She's I like beautiful. Mary, She's yeah. wonderful. I should stop holding Oh, this. yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can it get really clean, actually? Can it get clean? It has so many nooks and crannies. Well, we got Teamsters working here, so no. <laughs> the answer is no, it can't get clean. No. Not today, Don't anyway. Get the Teamsters back I'm here. kidding. I love I the Teamsters. I told a bad Teamsters joke once, and it didn't work out well for me. And I said, I said, what did Jesus say to the Teamsters? Don't do anything till I get back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight is on Anger Management. Uh, Thursdays on FX. Please welcome the adorable and thunderously sexy Selma Blair, everybody. Selma Blair. <laughs> I love this ruffly business going Thank on here. Thank you. It's and not... also your skirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crinoline is not comfortable and want to hear something crazy. Sure. I was swimming today and I'm still wearing my bathing suit underneath. I forgot. <laughs> no way, really? It's not like a good story or anything. No, it's it a great of... <laughs> story. I was going to say, because when you came out, I thought, chlorine? <laughs> is that what I was Chlorine? Kind of. I'm not. I showered this morning before the pool. Right, and then you went to the pool and you haven't showered since the pool? <laughs> well, it's not... Well, I mean, pools are clean. It depends. <laughs> is, it, is it your pool or is it a public... I don't a public, have a pool. So it's a public swimming well, pool? It's, it's a swim club. Like oh, a, a swim club. A tennis club. No one was there. The kids haven't, like, been in it for the weekend yet, so it's all still okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean... Well, I, anyhow, I'm clean. It's fine. Well, I, yeah, no, you smell, you smell really clean. You smell <laughs> chlorine fresh. <laughs> I, don't, I have a baby at home. There was no time to go home, breastfeed, take a shower, and take off my bathing suit before coming to your show. Exactly. <laughs> and something had to go, and it was changing for this. And I think... Also, I think the idea of just throwing on a crinoline frock <laughs> over your bathing outfit is something that lots of American women should learn how to do I because know. it'll give you more time in your busy <laughs> work day. Oh, it's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah how are things going over at the anger management show there? Are you having a good time? <sighs> yeah, blast. No, I. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's um, working with Charlie is truly amazing. Charlie and Sheen? Yeah, Charlie Sheen. You've heard right, of you're him. still using that name then? <laughs> Yes. He used to work at CBS, you know. Well, yeah, well, sure. Sure, I heard. <laughs> you know, when we gather at night, us of us that still work here, we talk about Charlie. He's the one that got out. Do you know Charlie? Uh, <laughs> Charlie's the one that got out. We Sometimes we talk about him, old Charlie. He's kind of like, he's cool hand look to us. Yeah, FX got him. No, we're happy. I'm happy to be on board. Yeah, he's, that's good. He's good. fun. He's yeah, good. yeah, he's all right. He's yeah. kind of talented. Unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you, you went swimming. Are you a big swimming fan? Do you enjoy the swimming? Are you watching the swimming at the Olympics? I've certainly enjoyed the results of the Olympic swimming. Just go with this a little bit. <laughs> Do you... I, are the Olympics on right now? You don't follow sport? <laughs> I don't even wear underwear, apparently. Yeah. Oh well, a lot of people that follow sport don't wear underwear, though. No. 
You don't follow any kind of sport? What about football or, or um, um, macrame or something like that? Any? No, I don't follow anything. If, if I knew when things were on, but pe people TiVo things now. But I go to bed, my child goes to, this is, yeah, my I child know, goes right. to bed at six o'clock, and mm. so do I if I'm not what working. Time do you, how, what time does, uh, your, a boy or a girl? It's a boy. I All right, think. what time does your boy wake up? Well, you should know by now, well. surely. I, <laughs> He's pretty like a girl. He goes to bed at about 6. I try to get it later, but he wakes up at about 4.30 in the morning. Well, so I'm right there with you. That's the schedule I'm on right now, too. Really? With my boy. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. brutal. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. It. And he was walking early, too, wasn't he? My Liam. boy? Yeah. Uh, Liam, Liam the, the older boy, he didn't walk till he was like 8. But <laughs> the, uh, way to go. But the, uh, but the, it's great. But the, uh, uh Liam, oh, he keeps uh, he's up like with 11 the months or oh, something. Oh, see, yeah. mine was eight months. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really early. I mean, that's crazy early. I know. And his yeah. little feet are like cookie dough that hasn't been in the oven yet. So you can't even find shoes that fit correctly. Yeah. They're just, and everyone's like, you know, oh, why doesn't she put socks and shoes on her kid? Because they're little fluffy cookie doughs. Yeah. What are you going to do? Do you know what I found really works and it stops the gossip? Just uh, get a, a little kind of a marker pen and draw shoes on their feet. <laughs> and then it looks That's like they've got those cute. swanky uh, running <laughs> things that look like feet. That's very cute. But you've got to be careful when you draw on your kids to use non-toxic markers. Right. Right. You don't draw on your... Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> It's hard. The sleep deprivation is difficult, though, isn't it's it? It's very difficult. Yeah, it makes I'm me a little really crazy. I'm Are you? Did it make you angry? Stabby. <laughs> Don't they say stabby where you come from? Oh no, that's they more do, like they do thing. say they do say more stabby. British Usually, British. when I hear the word stabby, though, I leave. <laughs> you run. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm crazy. I mean, I was always probably... I was going to say, I remember you here before the baby. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I'm happy because I'm here with you right now. It's hard not to smile with you, but the rest of my days... Really? You're grumpy? <laughs> it well, hurts. You, well, yeah, well, maybe you should try and, you know, at some point, I know this is difficult, but maybe, you know, hand the baby off to a relative or a trusted friend or a cop or, you know, a client <laughs> or something. And or a fire station. Yeah, That's like yeah, a thing. Yeah, just, uh, you know, for an hour or two and go and get a massage. Mm -hmm. Or maybe try and go to one of them stores and try out the massage chair. Don't buy one, but go and try it out. Right. You know, try out the massage chair. I can. Or I could take the $10 gift certificate to Coffee Bean you got me. Did I get you that? Well, it was in the $10. Did we give out a $10 <laughs> gift certificate? Did you not know that that's what you're giving guests? I mean, I'll I'm take it. I am extremely wealthy. I'll I, 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 I walk, I walk I around why. giving a $10 gift you're certificate. So wealthy to, now. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't mean to be, you know, unappreciative of a gift. I am. Okay, no. Unappreciative. No, I understand. I, I $10? <laughs> can, I, can I have another one? You think? One? Yeah, right. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I keep some money here, actually. Uh, oh, look. Yeah, there's 50 bucks here. Oh, wait, you. wait, wait. <laughs> In singles. <clears throat> Traditionally, if... Uh, <laughs> My night's looking so much better. All uh, right. <laughs> you really perked up with the 50 bucks. <laughs> no, isn't that sad what you no, did? No, not at all. Here, My right, kid has to go to, like, private school, maybe, if I don't move to a better public school zone. Go, yeah. Thank okay. you. Good thing there's lots of... <laughs> right, <that's laughs> so sad. It can all fit. It can all fit. <laughs> Look, here's the deal. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to tell you how to raise your kid, but if you're breastfeeding, that money's a little dirty. Yeah. And if you're not making the shower like you should, maybe. Uh... I know this money's the last thing my kid needs to worry about. Yeah. With yeah, the no showering, walking barefoot, and Sunset Boulevard. You've been doing that no, too. No, my kid has. Oh, your kid has. Ah. I don't have shoes. <laughs> we have to take a break while I, I get you into counselling. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just flirting <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that chlorine smell to get me going. <laughs> hey, um, let me ask you a question. Yes. Because we're out of time. So, uh, do you want to uh, do you want to finish this up with a mouth organ? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you want to have an awkward pause? 
Or do you want to go for the big cash prize and the chance to double your money from $50 for nothing an extra $50 if you win the big cash prize? That's 100 bucks plus your $10 gift certificate and a new car. <laughs> really? Not the car. The car is not true. I like awkward pauses and I also like money. Can we do both? There, see? We did it. Yeah, that was kind of awkward. Yeah, kind of. Okay, uh, we did that. Now, what time is the show? It's time for the Big Cash Prize. Big Cash Prize. <laughs> in quarters, in a bag. Don't touch the money till you've earned it. In quarters, in a bag with a dollar sign on it, just like the burglars use in real life. Now, <laughs> two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You try and guess. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. You take away the money. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. <laughs> Not really. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, all right, did you just have a nap there? <laughs> like when I was doing all that talking, you were like... <laughs> I've done that, yeah, I've done that. I've done that when guests are on uh, a couple of times. You know, people say I've fallen asleep watching your show. I'm like, I've fallen asleep doing it, you know? Uh, all right, you ready? Okay, yeah. All right, just answer the question. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. <laughs> what is the most popular fruit in the world? The apple, the orange, the grape, or the mango? Probably, I like mango best, but I'd say an apple. That's close. <laughs> what is it? You try a little bit. I tried. That's try. it. Wow, you really I'm not are an cranky. Are you? I really are cranky. <laughs> hey, we're still on TV. You're going to get the money. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> all right, it's going to be all right. Popular fruit. It's got to be an apple, right? No. Well, why not? Because it doesn't have to be an apple just because you want it to be an apple. Everyone likes apples. I'm not saying that everyone doesn't like okay, apples. Mango. Mango is the correct answer. You went back to My first guest is a beautiful actress stuffed inside another beautiful actress. No, just a beautiful actress, just a plain, not plain, beautiful, a beautiful actress. Welcome back, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Never mind. My first guest, or... Friend. Friend, is a beautiful actress. She stars in Anger Management, which airs Thursdays on uh, FX. Take a look at this. <laughs> the lovely Selma Blair, everybody, Selma Blair. Lovely. You look, I really like what you're doing here. Thank you. Yeah, it's really, you're kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic, although I'm not sure about killing horses for comedy. I know, I'm sorry. That's a... Yeah, that was a... That was a silly clip. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe... Of, of all nights to show I that, I know. And I'm I, sorry, horsey. What's your... Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Secretariat. Did, did right, you, yes, I know. I'm sorry. You haven't been here since the new studio, have you? I haven't been here since the new studio. It's charming. It's clean. You like it? Yeah, charming usually means very small and unappealing. <laughs> and if you're a realtor, if you're going to get buy a new house or look at a new house, they say it's charming. What does that mean to you? I don't know. I live in a charming house. Do you live Which in a it's small? <laughs> yeah. Do you live in a very small house? Yeah. How small? Is it inside another bigger house? <laughs> it's, 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 it's like an Australia. Have you ever been to Australia? <laughs> no, never. All oh, right. So you don't know about their system of keeping animals inside other animals. <laughs> <laughs> you're so silly. No, no, it's my, te my teeth. I'm, mm. not... I'm so sorry. I know you're afraid one's going to fly out. Well, not one. It's a little bridge. It's like, it's like three in a row. <laughs> like this thing comes out the whole That's side of the a face. a little bridge. That's yeah. a big bridge. It, well, I grew up in Scotland. You know what I mean? In the 1970s, dentistry was just a pipe dream. I'm no. the same age. I'm the same age as you. I no, have... you're not. You're 10 years younger than me. Mm, At least. Much, but God bless you. But yeah, I have... I have some funky teeth. I shouldn't have admitted that because I hope you one day I could like get a toothpaste commercial and now they know I have a bunch of rubble in my mouth. <laughs> you don't have, <laughs> you know. You don't have rubble. I'm looking at your teeth now. They're very attractive. If I was a toothpaste millionaire, I'd have you. You know those uh, commercials that are like if you're not, you know, whitening, you're yellowing. 
I'm yellowing. I've never whitened my teeth. I'm the only one in Hollywood that's never whitens their teeth. I only whiten one. <laughs> 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 That's what I should do. <laughs> just to get a different color. Right, right, I can, right. What have you got? It's like David Bowie's eyes. You know, I it's know. like, oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I know. I should do that. Yeah, I you know. should. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Everything all right? The the Charlie Sheen thing is going great. You guys are the biggest show on TV now. Congratulations. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. That's are nice. you all right? Are your pants right enough? <laughs> well, what's I'm, going no, on? No, no, they're not. I'm like, you know, I'm not comfortable without my swimsuit on underneath. Because last time I was last here. Last time I you were like, here. <laughs> that's right. You were. I'm never sure how to sit, you know, without showing... Do you want a blanket or something? Do you feel like... <laughs> no, it's fine. I should be past this. I'm 40 years old. I shouldn't care what people think about my funky inner thighs. When you I'm... don't have funky inner thighs. You look great. But if you do feel self-conscious about your legs, may I suggest longer pants? <laughs> No. Do you, do, why do you do, you play a therapist in this? Uh, I in this play a woman named Kate Wales. I'm a yeah, I'm a, I'm a therapist, and I'm having sex with Charlie Sheen. That I you... mean, on the show, I'm not in real. No, just kidding. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. You should have been yeah. here for the monologue. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, so are you in therapy? No. Why not? <laughs> well, you're, you clearly have a complex about your legs and your teeth. It's time. <laughs> No, the teeth I'm okay. I made peace with my keyboard teeth. The legs is a new one because since I've given birth, I don't exercise. I don't do anything. I was I ate a pot pie and a pie. A pot pie and a pie in your green room. Both. I didn't know we had pot pies and pies. Yeah, chicken pot pie. And then I also had like a like a French silk pie, which then We have <laughs> French silk pies? And now my legs are inner thigh pies. No, no. Can I just I'm sorry to do we don't have money for a band, but you're giving away silk uh -oh. pies? Oh. It is cozy. You have this band of hooligans and no band. Hey, wait. Um, Speaking of money, yo, last we? time I was on the show, I got a bag of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, and I know you do oh, Well, I came back. I want more. Okay. <laughs> so a bandit made off with my loot. They did. A bandit made off. You were attacked by bandits? No, my car. Small bandits inside larger <laughs> bandits? <laughs> Inside a cozy house, inside a less cozy house. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't work that way. No, I, I had uh, my car parked overnight, and uh, as you do, because what am I going to do? Drive around. Was it outside your cozy house? No, it was outside someone else's cozy house. Oh, hello! Renting. There's the story. There's the story. So, whose house was it parked outside? No, 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 no. No, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was right. renting a house while my cozy house was, was being, being renovated. Renovated, right? It was really cozy. Okay. And um, yeah, and they didn't take anything else in my car. They went in the middle console. They must have seen a bag with dollar signs, and they were like, "Pay dirt." And, <laughs> I mean, can you imagine breaking into someone's car and being like, "Wow!" <laughs> you know, so that. I but it was, yeah, it was I know. Just a bag of quarters, but now you've gotten chintzier, and it's not the quarters. It's chintzy. nickels, yeah, it's, it's nickels. nickels now. But there's, I think there's a there's a chocolate dollar in here, <laughs> but it looks like it's been fingered. <laughs> you know when people have been, you know, you, uh, and you don't want a fingered yeah. chocolate. Dollar. <laughs> but so anyhow, they they didn't take the baby seat, the stroller, very um, a few expensive items. Well, you could have this. You could have one of those, okay. and another one.
question. Go ahead. Why is a duck-billed platypus <laughs> not just called a platypus? Why is it called a duck-billed platypus? I genuinely don't know the answer to this. I got nothing. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Selma Blair. talking about we're not talking about that now <laughs> right 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 so you're in therapy then <laughs> now I am no you're not you should though therapy's awesome it's really helped me I'm awesome now I feel great who's your therapist write the number I need I'll, I'll give you I'll let you know she's lovely very very clever really? woman she really helped me yeah because I was in uh, great distress and she figured things out for me <sighs> yeah I could use that yeah really well I'll, I'll do something now then I'll be your therapist okay all right then let's see how it goes why'd you hate your legs <laughs> I told you because of the pie. <laughs> Did you were fine with your legs before the pie? No. I, don't think, I think it goes back to your childhood. It might. <laughs> Melissa Stern was always a faster runner. I was slow and I always felt like these legs didn't do right by me and now they're full of pie as They well. ran you all the way to Hollywood stardom? Mm, kind of. <laughs> what was the girl's name? Her name was Melissa Stern, and she was the fastest runner in our school, and I was Is she in Hellboy? No. Are you in Hellboy? Yes. I can about Melissa. Yep. <laughs> Fancy an awkward pause, or do you want to just leave? Awkward pause. Do I guess? I will guess awkward pause, then. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that looked like more like scornful laugh. <laughs> but it was awkward. Okay, I'll do some scorn as well, then. Oh, no, I can't take it. I'd be in therapy too long. No, no, it's fine. I'll just do a little bit of scorn. <laughs> <laughs> that was welcoming compared to how other people treat me. <sighs> so, do you want these, then? Yeah, how much money is in them? Uh -huh. How much? It's not... You've really scaled down. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time a woman has said that to me... Someone Blair! 